Hello, in two of my earlier videos I showed you examples of pyramids that I have found underwater. And in those videos, the pyramids that I showed you were actually in the Eastern Mediterranean and the Aegean Seas. And I thought, well, if they're in the Aegean Sea and in the Mediterranean Sea, I thought that these underwater pyramids could be found in other places across the globe. And specifically, the place that I consider to be Atlantis is actually the Caribbean, so I have a special interest in this region. And I did some searching, and as you can see in the in the video that's labeled Caribbean, or the feature that's labeled Caribbean Pyramid, I think I might have found pyramids here also in the Caribbean. And so, what's surprising about these Caribbean, about these structures, is that there isn't just one. For example, they are laid out in a linear formation that extends tens of miles across the Caribbean Sea, as I'm going in an approximately western direction. And all of these structures, actually, they are, they aren't just like conical structures that, because a pyramid has four faces, and those four faces each intersect at four edges that run from the corners to the top of the pyramid. And we can actually see that structure using the, the provides us with. If we if we use this ruler tool, we see that there is a sharp corner. The ruler just bends up into a corner, then bends back down, and that's exactly what we would expect to see if there was a if there was a face, a sharp sorry, a sharp edge that's intersecting at the two faces of the pyramid. If this was a cone or just a vaguely um, just like a generic mountain that didn't have that specific pyramid-like structure, we wouldn't see this, um, we wouldn't see this really uh, uh, an angular uh, feature in this line, in this ruler. And so, I'm not, the, the software is going a little bit slow right now, so I'll kind of just get to the point here. Um, here we have another uh, another pyramid here, and just running all the way over here. This is the last pyramid that I found in this in this specific region. And so, I'll leave the interpretation and the analysis for future videos. But only three alternatives: either these structures and these features, as represented by Google Earth, are just errors, and they're they're data artifacts which don't actually exist in the real world. And there's some form of algorithm or data processing which generated these errors. That's one alternative. The other alternative is that they exist, but they are natural. And that seems to be um, a reasonably likely poss possibility that that these are just natural formations, even if they actually exist as represented by Google Earth. And again, it has to be realized that these data sources, as you can see, are very reliable data sources. The US Navy, NOAA, I'm not sure what NGA and GBCO and SIO are, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that they are reliable data sources that we depend on really every single day for, um, for many, for things like weather reports, for example, NOAA, the U.S. Navy, they, they, they put in billions of dollars of research into getting accurate data because they need that data in order to complete their missions, especially the U.S. Navy. And so the third, the third alternative is that they are, these pyramids actually exist and they are man-made. And I believe that that's the most interesting alternative and that it's the actual true alternative. And I'll be talking more about this in future videos, but the idea is that there are pyramids underwater, there may be pyramids underwater, and those pyramids would prove the existence of an ancient civilization beyond all reasonable doubt. And again, my belief is that this pyramid building civilization was Atlantis.